Welcome back to the channel. So the last video that I did was an unboxing and first impressions of the Seymour Duncan Vapor Trail delay pedal. Um, I was going to do a follow-up to that, you know, uh, general thoughts after using it for a couple of times, but life kind of got in the way, including um, a motorbike crash, which was shit. And I just got the message today that it's a complete write-off, so yay? No, the other one. Boo! Anyway, um, yeah, so obviously um, couldn't really go around like lugging equipment about and recording videos when I couldn't really lift a guitar. Anyway, generally doing all right now, so I thought might as well give you some thoughts on, on the, the, the pedal now that I've used it a couple of times in rehearsals and I've played around with it a bit and worked out the sound that I like. Um. Yeah, I, I, I would say it's a 9 out of 10 pedal, honestly. Um, for all the hassle that I had getting it, you know, with the couriers losing the first one and, and everything else, uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. Check it out. That's the settings that I like to use. Um, you'll notice that there's a couple of extra little control knobs on top. These are for the rate and depth of the chorus effect that's added to the delayed signal. Um, it's a lot like a, an MXR carbon copy, but instead of having to just trim pots inside the pedal, it's all on the top, so you can adjust it for however you like. Um, I've got to admit, I just have both controls set at about midday, and it sounds great. Uh, the amount of shimmer and, and sparkle that the, the modulation effect adds is... it takes it to, to an absolutely next level. I can't speak highly enough of the sounds that come from it. Um, you know, it feels solid underfoot. It's got a nice, satisfying clickety click. And in case you haven't seen the previous video, it tells you how fast your delay is. Yeah, I, th I think that's pretty neat, actually. Um, it's a good little visual feedback to sort of... Sh obviously you can't pin it precisely to the uh, to the speed of the track that you're playing to, but then if you wanted to do that you'd use a digital delay. But yeah, it's, it's really cool to give you sort of a feel for how fast it's going to, going to be doing its thing. So yeah, it's a great pedal and I'm really happy that I bought it. Uh, again, like everything else, no sponsored content, just stuff I've spent money on. Uh, so well done Seymour Duncan, you've made a fantastic pedal and it's so good that I'm kind of tempted to uh, check out what other stomp boxes they've made because if the quality and the sound is the same as this then well worth having. Um, yeah that's it. Bit of a short video so um, do the likey sharey subscribey thing. Please subscribe, I want to get like more than just, you know, my other half and the odd drunk person watching this. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.